Having your protein skimmer properly dialed in is one of the best ways to remove waste and maintain proper water quality. If this is a brand new protein skimmer, you're gonna to need to go through the break-in process. Check out our How to Break In a Water Box Protein Skimmer video to set yours up properly. A protein skimmer that is dialed in correctly is gonna have a dense, thick foam in the whole neck, and then it's gonna result in a dark liquid collecting into the skimmer cup. The first step in being able to adjust your protein skimmer properly is to make sure it's in the proper water height in your sump recommended by the manufacturer. Water box sumps are designed to run at the skimmer chamber at about eight and a half inch water height. And this is perfect for the water box protein skimmer. What do you do if your water height's not correct? You're gonna either want to adjust your water height in your sump or you can even raise your protein skimmer using some biomedia blocks or a skimmer stand. Down in your protein skimmer is done by two ways, your air intake valve and then your water level adjustment. You usually can leave the air intake fully open and only really concentrate on the water level adjustment inside your skimmer. Remember to always make small adjustments and give plenty of time in between each change. If you have light colored foam collecting in your neck and then your collection cup really is only getting very clear liquid, it means the water level in your skimmer is too high. What you're gonna to wanna to do is actually take the water adjustment knob and move it to the open position slowly, and this is going to drop the water level in your protein skimmer. Now the opposite of that is if the neck of your protein skimmer is just collecting a lot of gunk, but nothing's really making it into the collection cup. This is happening because the water level in your protein skimmer is too low. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take your water adjustment and actually put that towards the closed position, and this is going to raise the water level in your protein skimmer. Continue to make those small adjustments until the neck of your skimmer has a nice dense, darker foam in it, and that results in dark liquid forming into the collection cup. Sometimes you're gonna find that your protein skimmer stops foaming completely or even goes crazy and overflows your collection cup. This is usually caused by something different being added to your system. It could be fish food, amino acids, or stuff like medications. Normally, the skimmer goes back to working properly after a few hours. Take extra caution when you're dosing medications into your aquarium to check the instructions. Most of them are gonna tell you to turn off your protein skimmer completely while you're dosing. Um, the reason is that the protein skimmer can remove the medication or it will actually cause your skimmer to go absolutely crazy and overflow your cup and kind of pour the water back into your aquarium. Keeping your water box protein skimmer properly dialed in will reduce your maintenance and give you more time to enjoy your water box. To learn more about water box protein skimmers, visit waterboxaquariums.com. Mm -hmm.